Statistics Canada says 2022 alcohol purchases saw their biggest decline in a decade. Wine sales dropped by 4%, the largest decrease in Canadian history, and beer sales decreased by 2.8%, the largest decrease in beers per person in history. While inflation contributed to rising prices, a shift in how many people view drinking could also play a role. Lauren Hunter from Sonic 102.9 gave up alcohol for the month of February to fundraise for the Canadian Cancer Society. But I never thought dry February would change my perspective on alcohol as much as it has. You know, I started off more for the fundraising aspect as opposed to going dry because, you know, I know a lot of people affected by cancer. So that was really my motivation to stop drinking was to fundraise on their behalf. The federal government has planned a 6.3% tax hike on alcohol set to take effect on April 1st. Add the rise in prices to the new guidelines from the Canadian Centre on Substance Abuse and Addiction, released earlier this year, recommending no more than two drinks per week. After stopping drinking alcohol for a month and realizing, wow, I can feel more mentally clear, you know, I'm spending less money. Um, it's definitely something that I'm going to carry forward for the rest of my life. Non-alcoholic options at restaurants and liquor stores have been increasing in demand. Edmonton Sea Change Brewing offers their own non-alcoholic beer along with their traditional lineup. Director of Operations Brian Schmidt says they've seen a rise in popularity in their aptly named Straight Edge 0% beverage. Even in our tap rooms, people enjoying, you know, one or two of their friends who are driving will go three or four, but then their friend has something to drink still. The driver's still like, oh, I'll just have a few straight edge uh, and enjoy the rest of the night and still have a beer and feel like you're enjoying beers with everyone, but obviously still be, you know, uh, socially responsible and, and, and driving home safely. Sea Change does currently have plans to expand their non-alcoholic offerings. Recognizing that as consumer preferences change and evolve, the beverage business will have to evolve along with them. We've already decided to do a couple variations this summer, so we'll have a couple different styles coming out as well. And it still it tastes like you're drinking a beer. Like you're not going to notice like anything really too different about it uh, from your regular kind of pale ales, just 0.5%. <laughs> not only the benefits you get from just stopping alcohol and challenging yourself to do that. Um, I think it can change your lifestyle habits for the better and just, yeah, give you a new perspective on life. In Edmonton, Bianca Millions, City News.